are we supposed to use instruments in our churches this is the topic you are going to discuss today so if you want to know more about this topic let's head straight <laughs> let's head straight into the video <laughs> So yeah, so I, 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 I saw this question online and someone was asking that Are we supposed to use musical instruments in our churches? And then the person went on to ask that uh, um, Was the usage of musical instruments endorsed in the New Testament? You see, there are some things that were endorsed in the New Testament There are some things that were not endorsed So where the use of musical instruments endorsed in the New Testament So I'm going to answer these questions here So first of all, yes we are supposed to use musical instruments because if you read Psalm 150 verse 1 going, yeah, I mean, Psalm 150 verse 1 going, as in verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, verse 4, it speaks about the fact that God is expecting us to praise Him and also He is also expecting us to praise Him with instruments. He made mention of harp, He made mention of uh, sema, He made mention of other instruments that like flute and trumpet and all that. So God is very interested, like, interested in the use of. Uh, musical instruments to pray, praise him. Actually, you are going to say, sorry, I'm going to instruments. I'm going to say, I'm feeling so feeling great. Like, compare, like, compare the two moments that you've got to check that they are instruments and uh, moments that they are not instruments. So, yes, we ask, we can use, yes, we, because they are also, number two, they are also tools of praise or instruments of praise. We can use the instruments to praise God, even though we have our voices and all that. Yeah. So, moving on to the next question, someone ask. Since it wasn't mentioned anywhere, that, or it wasn't endorsed in the New Testament, or Jesus didn't command us to use, these people have other thoughts. Yeah, so that will take me to Ephesians 5 verse 19, which says that uh, singing sounds and hymns and spiritual songs about yourself and making music to the Lord in your heart. Yeah, so Charlie, we are supposed to sing hymns, we are supposed to edify ourselves with hymns, songs, and other things, and then we are supposed to make music. My baby said, and then they have music, you know. What are you going to use to make the music? <laughs> our voices are on the man is red, yeah. But we can also use, we can't limit God to just our voice. You know? So we can use other avenues like instruments to also praise God. So yes, lastly, I want to say that whether a church wants to use musical instruments or not, we are not in the right standard to condemn them. So, and then we should also respect every church's way of praising God. Obi Adi said to praise Yahweh. Some people have different ways and diverse ways of praising God. So if your church wants to use his words to praise God, vibe, cool, we move. But if your church doesn't want to use his words, or if your church doesn't want to use his words, you are in no authority to condemn them. We are not supposed to condemn them because Obi Adi said to praise him. So yeah, this is my take on the question that are we supposed to use the musical instruments in our churches or not? And that was it endorsed in the New Testament. So if you like this or if you have any other idea, if you have any other opinion, you can drop it in the comment section and I'll be glad to read it. Yeah. So make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share to other people to enjoy. Bye.